Well, folks, this is Certain Stractor Ron. I just want to thank you for watching the channel. Please like and subscribe, but let's just get right into it. Storm season is upon us. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means already in Iowa we've had a tornado. Uh, wasn't a very powerful one. Um, I think it was an EF1. I don't know uh, exactly what uh, the wind speed was, but it's something between like 83, 87 miles an hour to 112 or something like that. So anyways, um, that means it's not very powerful, but did do some damage. So we're getting ready here for storm season. And one of the things I would tell you guys, if you're going to get out and go, well, hunt tornadoes or whatever people do, uh, some people storm chase, some people like myself storm spot. When I storm spot, I'm working with the city of Edmond. Um, here in Oklahoma, and so I'm using a radio and I'm reporting and they're reporting whatever I see if it's verified to the NWS and maybe they flip a switch um, Maybe they don't but that's what we do. So if you're gonna get out and go do those kind of things maybe as a first-time Visitor to the state and you hear there's severe weather a couple of things you should be aware of whether you're a novice brand new or experience. I'm going to share a couple of those things with you. First of all, one of the things that you're going to want to get, in my opinion, if you do it very long, is a good hard hat and goggles. And the reason you're going to need that, well, if hell comes down, uh, breaks your windshield, you're going to protect your eyes, your head too. So there are people that sustain injuries with large hail, which sometimes happens here in Oklahoma and other places around the country. So you're one gonna want to do that. Another thing you're one gonna want to do. I'll mix my words up today, and that is get you a good plastic baggie that you can put your phone in. And the reason that you can do this is that if something happens, you have to get out of your car, walk a distance, or abandon your car. Your phone's not going to get drenched and no longer work. You can actually operate the phone through the baggie like that. Um, I can go to my screen, put in my pen, you can see, and uh, you can bring up other, other things. If you have Zello on your phone, that's a good thing to use. A lot of your storm spotters and chasers use Zello. And one of the neat things about Zello, I've showed this before in one of my videos, is that you can actually send out your location to others on your channel or to an individual. That way, if you're broke down, you don't know where you're at, it'll tell you longitude, latitude, whatever, um, street address, you're gonna have an idea of where you are. So that's a good thing to do. So um, I would say that's a, a, a good program to have with others. So uh, other things that you're gonna wanna have too are gonna be things like these little um, charger, you know, they're, Put a charge to it, put it with your phone. So uh, if your phone's gonna die, you can charge it, especially if you're on the side of the road and your battery's already dead. Uh, most of these, I think, are good for at least one charge, if not, you know, two, three, four, five. So it depends on how dead your phone is. And some of them have flashlights on it. I have some pretty sophisticated ones, I guess, that have flashlights. And they'll charge my, my phone, I think, about three times. So these battery banks, whatever you want to call them, they're really good to have as well. Um, you're going to want to have rain gear and uh, other things with you too. But you always want to know exactly where you want to go. I would say one of the biggest mistakes that people are doing uh, in storm chasing in particular is they're running all over uh, hell and high water, so to speak. And when they get there, they don't know the layout. And so a lot of times you can get yourself in a real bind with a road that comes to the end suddenly and you have nowhere to go, especially if you have a, a tornado um, coming up on you. Um, the other thing that happens a lot of times is that uh, uh, the GPS is wrong. So it's always a good idea to get out and know what you're doing. Now, me being a storm spotter, I know the local roads around here, but if I go to some places in Oklahoma, that's a chance or Texas or wherever I normally don't you know leave the area but it's always a good idea 
to know exactly where you're going to go. If you do have something like GPS on your phone, I would say get a uh, paper map as well because if something happens to your phone or your car, you can read a map. So that's a couple of things that I would tell people. Always practice safety. Get online, take a, a spotter course of some type through the uh, NWS and there's other courses there so through MedEd. And uh, that's what I tell you to do. Just be safe. Um, get out there, have fun, take pictures, but don't clog up roads. Get away from all the other people that are clogging up roads. So that's my advice to you. Uh, be safe this season. If you have any questions on this uh, video or any additional comment, please state it. And again, be safe. Thank you.